What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some animals that I don't think get enough recognition in the hobby. Uh, purely because there's a stigma around them. They're seen as aggressive, defensive, super venomous. Um, hopefully this video will change your mind on them. Um, we're going to be dealing, well, we're going to be rehousing a Espostigmus trigonopodus, which is um, the Nigerian orange leg centipede. This one comes to me from Tony Webb over at Venomous Vision. Absolutely awesome guy and an absolutely awesome company. The animal itself is stunning and I can't wait to rehouse it. Um, I do also own two other centipedes, both came from him as you may know. The Scolopendra Dahani um, orange leg and the Scolopendra Dahani um, yellow leg. Uh, male orange leg and female yellow leg. Um, so let's get into this rehousing shall we? So when rehousing a centipede, I always have a checklist. Uh, number one, the enclosure, uh, with the animal inside a pot inside the enclosure. And then uh, we have a large tub, just in case it escapes. By, by climbing up my tongs or something. Tongs are extremely important because, remember, this animal is still venomous. Um, although mildly venomous in the case of Eskimostigmus, not as venomous as Scolopendra subspinipede, Scolopendra dahani. Uh, Scolopendra hynanum, or most of the Asian Scolopendra species. And then we also have a catch cup, uh, just in case it escapes. So, let's get on with it. So what I've done is I've removed the lid of the enclosure and I've placed it on its side, um, in here. As you can see, there's the animal, beautiful animal with, um, the orange legs, as you can see, given by the, given it by the name. Um, you can't really see the terminal legs, but they're really chunky here. There's the head. An absolutely stunning species. Now I'll get some more shots of it once it's out of the container. And as most centipedes have got to do, it's straight off got into the substrate. Typical. It's got a height here. I'll add a water dish once it's settled down, otherwise they'll just bury it. But yeah, off it goes like that. An absolutely stunning centipede. Uh, check Tony Web out. I have a link to his site in the pinned comment. So don't forget to check him out, and if you want a centipede, he's your guide to go for. They give you advice on multiple species, and he's the biggest centipede in the UK to buy in the UK. So, once again, I'd like to thank Tony for this absolutely amazing animal. I just cannot wait to see it grow. It's stunning, and I can't wait to see how it grows and changes colour with age. Um, now, I want to talk, obviously, Tony's tagline is, Colourful Creatures Misunderstood. And I agree, these animals are so misunderstood. You can see they're portrayed as um, dangerous, um, venomous, aggressive. And as you can see there, I had none of those things. I didn't get a bite. No signs of aggression whatsoever. Not even it raising its tail, terminal legs much. Uh, yeah. They're only dangerous and aggressive if you make them dangerous and aggressive. They can be they can be, be um, defensive, but not aggressive. They're not targeting you directly. And they're only dangerous if you make them dangerous by angering them. And then even then you can see I was knocking it about by mistake and stuff when I was shaking my hands because I was kind of scared of it. But yeah, you can see it didn't want to hurt me in any way. It just wanted to get away. It wanted to get under that piece of bark. They do not want to hurt you. Centipedes are so misunderstood because people get Scolopendra dahani as their first animal and bite them because it's a dahani. So my advice is with any animal, do your research. Do your research even more, as much as you can with centipedes because they aren't for everyone uh, and they can, um, yeah, they can do damage to you. Um, and this is in no way a care, a care guide, and I really do not want um, to um, for anyone to buy a centipede with no research, only seeing this video. Research as much as you can. Talk to keepers. Tony himself will probably help you out if you shoot him a message or ask on centipede groups. He's absolutely amazing, and I would like to thank you guys for watching this video. And please check Tony out. As I said, his um, his uh, 
link will be in the um, in the pinned comments. Thank you so much. Goodbye.